Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, Anthony here, and today we got some news from Trueball Excel Archery, yes, they have a new name, so it's now Trueball Excel Archery, all in one, no release, no site, it's, it's just one company, uh, because uh, it looks like they are expanding uh, their product lines, now, uh, I first saw this announcement, uh, well today, that I'm filming this, the uh, 27th of March, and uh, they hinted that, ooh, they're going to be showing a new product today, and they have a second one that'll be out before 2020. So, I actually took a guess at it before they announced it, uh, and I actually turned out to be right. It was a finger tab, uh, but there's but there's more to that, uh, and we'll be getting into that in this video. So, first off, with their announcement. So, they have two products. Number one is the finger tab. So, what is number two? Now, I have a couple ideas floating around in my head of what it could be. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about that too. What do you think their second product is? For me, I think it's either going to be a arrow rest or a plunger. I, I, I don't see them coming out with like a stabilizer or limbs or a riser. Besides, honest, honestly, I think there's there's plenty of stabilizer companies as there is so I really hope they don't go into stabilizers because that I think I think there's enough and there's a lot of quality ones um, the finger tab I think there could always be more finger tabs people are, always want custom finger tabs uh, there's really only one big uh, arrow rest on the market and that's the Shibuya so it'll be interesting if they could come out with competition to that rest I know Biter tried and that didn't really catch on, um, and that'll be interesting to see if they actually do a, uh, an arrow rest. Uh, the plunger would be an also would also be another interesting one because again, uh, Biter dominated the market. Uh, well, it's always dominated the market, uh, but, that, but that plunger is like 30 years old. That Biter plunger, so it'll be interesting to see if Trueball uh, Trueball Excel Archery has a new take on that. I don't know, you know, I'm just speculating at this point and uh, things could change. You never know. But uh, that was the initial start of it. And then uh, they started rolling out with the teaser with Brady teasing it. Um, there's a there's a video online to that. I'll, uh, I'll provide a link to uh, Trueball Excel Archery's uh, Facebook page. They're also running a giveaway there too if you want to go and join that. So there'll be a link to that. Uh, in the description down below, uh, but in his video, he hit on some interesting points, and I made a nice list here because I really want to go uh, through them uh, with you. But just before we do, uh, Trueball did say, besides the giveaway that they're doing, that they're calling it the Contour and the Contour Pro. So Contour, so it's going to fit into your hand. They're saying it's more ergonomic than any other finger tab on the market. Uh, which is a, a pretty big, uh, you know, announcement, I would think. Yeah, you could just say that technically, but they know that they're going up against, at least in the U.S., they're going up against uh, the AA, AAE uh, KSL finger tab and uh, the AAE Elite uh, finger tab. They're still very popular in the U.S. I actually use the, the KSL currently. And the KSL is actually pretty ergonomic itself, at least that's what it was designed for. So it's very interesting that they're saying it's more ergonomic than anything else out there. And I know Win and Win and stuff had some really adjustable uh, finger tabs as well. So that's really interesting that they're they're putting such a, a bold claim on it. And I would assume, knowing Trueball uh, and Excel, uh, that they are going to follow through with what they have to say. I feel like they're really good at that. They don't lead you on with something and then not uh, perform behind it. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they know what they're doing. So with the Contour and the Contour Pro, I'm thinking it's going to have to do something with uh, the adjust adjustability of it. Uh, maybe what materials it's made out of. Maybe the regular Contour will just be aluminum and the Contour Pro will be maybe a, a brass. Or uh, in Brady's video, we actually hit on uh, electrolysis nickel plating. Yeah, that's that's fancy, and uh, I think that actually has to do with uh, what Trueball's doing with their compound releases. 
They have a couple that are like nickel plated and, you know, not being a professional at this, from me uh, researching it, it looks like it's probably the same process. So they're going to be nickel plating uh, these finger tabs, which is going to be nice because they're not going to get so gunky like uh, the brass ones do. I know my brass ones, frankly, uh, it's pretty disgusting. Uh, and because it just, it just collects all the dirt and then I live so close to the ocean, um, it starts, it starts looking like the Statue of Liberty. It's, it's, it's actually turns green and stuff. It's, 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 it's disgusting. So it would be interesting to see if that electrolysis, uh, nickel plating actually makes a difference. And if it adds a, a significant amount of, uh, weight to, uh, the finger tab, I know a lot of people like a nice, strong, uh, nice, heavy finger tab. Now, for those who don't like a heavy finger tab, uh, he did mention that there will be an aluminum model, and of course he says there's going to be colors, because why not? Uh, we're gonna, they'll, they'll probably make them every color under the sun, or at least I would think all the color options that they make uh, their sights. But then again, you know, this video is just me, uh, you know, spreading my ideas, and it's completely, you know, just my best guess. I have no insight in this. I had no idea that uh, this was actually going to happen. So, uh, you know, just trying to, <laughs> to spread my, my two cents and see what other people have to say about this. What are your ideas? Now, continuing on, uh, the Brady tab is now, that's, that's, what, it's, that's what it's going to be called. It's going to be called the Brady tab. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Brady tab, it's supposed to have uh, a few different adjustments than what we're used to. Uh, Brady said that it was things that he was uh, developing or has developed in the past. Um, I've, I've heard he's been known to make his own custom tabs, so I guess this is him partnering uh, with uh, Trueball Excel Archery and then them putting out, that's why there's going to be a Brady Ellison signature series uh, for this tab, so I guess that's going to be his tab how he would like to have it, how he prefers a finger tab to be designed. So I think that's going to be pretty special because, you know, he's shot a lot of arrows and he's performed quite well over his now close to 10 years, I think, on the international field. It could be a little bit off there. But, um, you know, <laughs> for shooting that long, I think the man knows, uh, you know, what works and what doesn't, or at least has his own personal taste, and that would be something very interesting uh, you know, to experience, and I think it's, I think it'll be beneficial overall to a lot of archers. Brady also finishes it up with saying that it's letting him shoot more than ever. Now, looking at uh, the finger tab closely, because they have some blurred out sections, which I think that's just the adjustment sections, um, and you can, you can, you can see some of the, the nickel plating. It's almost like it's, it's two piece. Like they'll have like the black anodized which will probably be the color, and then I think there's a nickel plating that bolts onto the back of it, or maybe that helps hold the uh, the leather onto uh, the tab. Kind of kind of hard to say. I don't know. I've, I've been looking at it, but I think it bolts all the way around, kind of like a like a like a clamshell, because you got your one piece that's very short, that black piece, and then the rest of it just clamps on the back. And then the, the piece that the piece that goes back here will be like your your palm plate. Uh, but it'll, it looks like it should be pretty adjustable. Of course, they blurred it out, but, you know, being an archer, I, I have I have some idea, and I've looked at a lot of finger tabs. Uh, some other interesting points, too. Uh, the leather is, uh, cor it's a Cordovan face, so it'll be interesting to see how well they can con they can control uh, the quality of the Cordovan. Um, I know I've had issues with uh, the AAE tabs where... You can buy one piece of Cordovan and it will be one thickness. And then you can order another piece and it will be a completely different thickness. And it has a totally different feel to the shot and how it comes off your fingers and stuff like that. So if they have a way to, uh, you know, get a certain size, you know, thickness of Cordovan every single time, uh, then this will be an amazing tab. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's going to be it's going to be some legwork on their part, but... Again, I don't know. I, I, I haven't seen True Ball Excel do any like shoddy work, so uh, we'll you know we'll see how they pull it off. I'm sure they'll make it happen. Uh, some other points with that though: three pieces, which is going to make it a little more padded in your hand, but they're thin pieces, so it's probably the same thickness as your normal suede and leather, 
but since it's three, maybe it, it does provide a little more cushioning. And uh, maybe there's something more uh, to that as well. Um, Brady does indicate that it has allowed him to shoot uh, more than ever. And, uh, you know, maybe related, maybe unrelated. I know at one point he was having uh, some uh, finger issues with some finger pain. So if this uh, finger tab actually solved those problems, uh, this is a major this is a major like like change. This is a, a great improvement, and uh, it makes me really excited because I am I'm you know I'm a Brady Ellison fan. A couple of little things I did notice is the shelf seems uh, a very unique design. It's it's quite small compared to a lot of shelves in the past. Uh, maybe that's something that uh, Brady himself actually prefers. And other than that, uh, you can see a couple little cutouts on uh, the inside of the plate. I don't know, well it looks like there's a couple cutouts. There's at least one on the bottom below the Excel Contour Pro, and then there might be one up, up just under the BE, because that's the Brady Ellison edition. Uh, if it is, I wonder if it'll let you run uh, your three fingers through it. If not, uh, it looks like it's it's going to have a singer up there. If not, it looks like it's going to have your normal single, uh, probably middle finger uh, attachment point. I know some people like to shoot with all three fingers. I actually shoot that way, uh, but I'm sure you can modify it to make it shoot uh, three fingers from just the single one. Or who knows? Uh, one of these, you know, it probably is the same tab. Uh, one could be the pro, and one could just be the the regular one, which probably wouldn't make sense. I'm sure they're showing us. Uh, the Contour Pro and Brady Ellison edition. I don't think it's just like the basic one because they they do look the same. You can you can see uh, the nickel plating on both of them and how it kind of wraps around uh, the back. I don't know. I'll keep my eye out and see if I can learn more on this. Uh, it would be interesting to hear anybody else's uh, feedback on it. Uh, do you think it's just another uh, finger tab on the market, or do you think this will actually be? an improvement uh, for archers, for archery as a whole. For me, I would be very happy if it just kind of streamlines the process of replacing the leather at the same point in time, gives you some more adjustment options for choosing, you know, how your, your finger, you know, how much your finger tab weighs and at the same point in time, what you can change on it. You know, the aluminum model is going to be lighter than uh, the nickel plated model, I'm sure. So you can play around with that some more, and uh, it, I think it, I think it, it'll be beneficial to archers as a whole overall. But uh, yeah, again, just you know, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think on it, and what do you think is Trueball and Excel's second product that they're going to come out with before the 2020 Olympics. We'll find out, but I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to check out Trueball Excel's uh, Archery's uh, Facebook page so you guys can jump in on the, the giveaway. Uh, maybe, maybe one of you get lucky and you'll actually win it. That would be pretty cool. Uh, other than that, I'll, I'll see if I can kind of keep you posted if I learn anything new. And as always, happy shooting!